shares the architecture with the Renegade. Small, wide, all-wheel drive. Those two cars have been designed with specific missions. The 500X, on-road, capability, confidence, and sportiness. And these two vehicles share the bones of the architecture. The 500X is very tailored for that mission. We've adjusted the suspension geometry a little bit in the rear, lowered the roll inclination angle a little bit so it's much sportier, a little sharper on the front. Turn is very quick, you'll feel that when you drive the car. It's uh, something that was included in the project from the inception, so it's no accident that these two cars have come out have, as they have and as separated as they are. So from that, we also have included all of the unique nap to market specifics. This is a little different from the other Fiat products that are in the showroom right now. The 500 and the 500L started life as European products that were basically adapted to bring in the nap to market. The 500X from the very start was intended for the U.S. market, and because of that, we've done a very clean implementation of all the powertrains, the drive lines, all of the, the very market-centered things that we need and, and, and want here. Things like remote start, already included, heated steering wheel, already included. So these are important points. But at the same time, it's the first truly global vehicle for Fiat. It's sold in over 100 countries. It still fits all those diesel engines that are required in Europe, and it's part of a bigger enterprise at, at FCM. So really big steps in the process as part of this project for the overall company. As in all good car construction, you have to have a great foundation to do the job. We've taken our 70% high strength steel strategy, we've applied it here, amplifying and building on the bones that are in the architecture, and we're bringing all of that into play, especially for the on-road sport mission that the 500X has. It's gonna react all those loads very confidently, it's gonna give you compliance, it's gonna give you good dynamic transitions. You're gonna feel that very quickly when you get in, in some of the nice twisties the guys have picked out on the route today. We brought all the new technology into the platform for the all-wheel drive. The front disconnecting power takeoff unit off the transmission. It's also fully disconnecting your differential module for your axle. So that allows the car to give you all the efficiency of front-wheel drive. You don't have a penalty for having all-wheel drive in the car. It's always standing at the ready to come on whenever it detects slip. Or whenever those conditions are preset and can potentially occur based on all of our algorithms with the software. So as I said, in the rear, we made slight adjustments, so it takes that roll inclination angle, lowers it a little bit, makes the car very much more on the front, in my opinion, and also the vehicle has a fairly low CG. So for CUV, you're gonna feel that it's very dynamically matched and, and confident when you, when you come to the driving experience. So we take all that and we combine it back into the dynamic selector switch that Matt referred to, and it has three modes on it. The auto mode is the default mode in the center. It basically allows the vehicle to provide all-wheel drive when it's required or necessary detected. It's the baseline setting for the steering wheel or the EPS system, electric power steering, column mounting, and then also brake and throttle and all of that are just in the standard setting. When you turn it to the left, you'll find a sport mode. In the sport mode, we advance the throttle calibration so you get more engine with less input. We change the transmission shift calibration so that it holds onto the gear a little bit longer before it gets the upshift and it holds onto it on a downshift when you're doing the coast down, it holds on a little bit longer and you'll feel the steering ratio. The steering assist will reduce and it'll be a little more stiff on the steering. So you'll feel these things immediately and you should I definitely try it on the twist if you find it right away. And then we've got traction plus. That's the position when you turn it to the left and hold it. And in that mode, it, it lets you preset the system and says, I've got inclement weather, I've got snow, I've got rain, I've got potential things that could occur. It gives you second gear start. It reduces the throttle input to the uh, calibration, reduces the amount of engine you get for a degree of throttle input, and also extends the shifts a little bit longer so there's no rapid transitions in the shifts. These are things that are kind of matched up to fit the, the, the climate you're driving and the, and the road conditions. So all together, we put that technology and all of the, the things we've done in the car, it makes it the most technically sophisticated Fiat that's ever been produced. To support that, we've also added the safety systems that Matt talked about. There's a long list, these are all in your press kit. The ones that are really unusual in the segment are, are coming down to 
very expensive cars are blind spot detection, uh, lane departure uh, assist plus, which actually provides haptic feedback. You can see the lines on the road when we leave. It'll give you a nudge to go back, give you yellow light, give you green light when you're in the lane. But it's progressive, fully adjustable. You can turn it on or off. And then forward collision warning plus, which will actually give you brake assist when it detects that you're going to collide with something. So really nice packages in the car and very competitive. So for the, the overall project, big attention we've had, especially for the size of the car, is to make sure we max out all of the volume inside the car. Danello talked about all the interior storage, an upper glove box, lower glove box. In the back of the car, we've got all kinds of space in the back of the car with the low floor. You can fold it down. It has a cargo volume that is equivalent to much bigger cars. And I think you'll find and experience that today. And um, dynamically, I think it's, it's, it's very well matched for the customer. Overall, it becomes a very market-centric offering in the showroom because now you've got a car that's got lots of material volume, you've got all-wheel drive capability from the weather, and it becomes a vehicle that's very well matched with its powertrain. The nine-speed automatic transmission provides all these the power to enable all of it, and when combined, I think, for the Fiat showroom, it's going to provide them an, an offering that is much more accepted within the general public in, in the U.S., and I think it's going to do uh, pretty well with that. So we put all those things in there to try and enable that package, keeping the sport side of the brand and the tuning, and all of that's very specific to the vehicle, and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy the uh, the ride in the, in, the, in the program that the team's outlined for you today.